welcome to another fun episode of Kim Ye in Fashion. My name is Kim, and on today's episode, I'll be making this fun and flirty gathered skirt. I made a short version. Um, if you want to make a longer version, you free, go ahead to do so. And also, I also use crepe instead of stretchy fabric. So let's get into it. So to start off my skirt, I have this really nice houndstooth crepe, and um, it's about one yard. I have my tailor's chalk. I have my pins, my ruler, I'm submitting pattern master, my tape, and my fabric scissors. So starting off with my fabric, um, I have one yard as I've already stated, and this one yard is what I'm going to be using for my entire skirt. So I'm going to be folding it into two, and I'm going to separate it into two pieces, so that I can use one for the front and one for the back. Keep in mind that the one yard is because I'm making a shorter version. If you want to make something long, I would advise that you get at least two yards for this skirt. Now I'm going to be inserting a zip in the back of my skirt because it's crepe. Um, if it was a stretchy fabric, I wouldn't have to do that. But because it's crepe, I'm going to have to insert a zip and I'm going to be creating an opening at the middle of my fabric, about 10 inches. And my zip is going to end up at about 8 inches, so at least Having 10 inches is going to give me enough room to sew my zip in comfortably. So I've sewn the rest of the zip opening, I'm just going to pin down my zip so that I can sew it in comfortably. So I've sewn in my zip and the next thing I'm going to do is to overlock the sides of my skirt pieces. So I've overlocked the sides of my skirt and at the hemline I just folded it once to just give it like a nice finish. Um, so to gather my skirt now, I'm going to be using interfacing, um, interfacing haste stay, whichever one you want to call it. Um, I cut it at about 19 inches but I later found out that that 19 inches was a bit long for me. So I made it 17 inches. So what I'm going to be doing now is to just measure my hip uh, my hip width on both sides, a quarter of my hip measurement. That's what I'm going to be measuring just to draw a straight line. That's what I, that is what I'm going to be using as a guide for where my gather is. I'm basically just trying to go over the lines with an orange chalk so that I can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so basically this is what I'm going to do to gather. I'm basically gathering. gathering this is skirt with my hand so I'll just gather it, use my iron to just press in the, uh, the interfacing and I'm just going to do that till I get to the end of the interfacing. I'm going to be doing the same thing for the other side of my skirt as well as the front of my skirt. So here's my skirt, I've gathered all sides front and back. The next thing I'm going to be doing is to mark my measurements, so cut off my waist measurements my hip depth, cut off my hip measurement and on my above knee I'm going to be marking a quarter of my above knee measurement. I'll be connecting this with my real with my rulers, my sewing pattern master so that I can have like a straight line and neat line to sew on. Pins are always say the tailor's best friend so make sure to always use your pins. So my skirt is almost done, I have my side seam sewn, the only thing left is my waistline which I'm going to um, sort out in just in a moment. So what I'm going to do is to be using bias tape on my waist, 
or for the wings as someone called it um, I'll be I'll be hemming them to just have a nice neat finish also and here we have it my skirt is done my waist is ni nicely finished with my bias tape my wings I've hemmed and my skirt is done yeah let's see what it looks like Well, you can obviously tell from my excitement that I love, love, love my skirt. I mean, yes, it's the perfect length. It's, it's just the perfect fit, you know. <laughs> anyway, remember, you can make this in a longer version. You can just use a stretchy fabric to just avoid the entire zip sagger. And thank you for staying tuned. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you next time. Bye.